Let's quickly discuss about the difference between Z distribution and T distribution. If you are familiar with my previous lectures, I told you T test is used with small sample sizes. And one of the previous lecture, I discussed about the Z distribution, where it is bell shaped curve, the mean is zero, mean, median, not all three lies at the center, and in 95% of the individuals are between mean plus or minus 1.96 standard deviations. So what is T distribution? T distribution, as I told you earlier, for small sample sizes. When the sample size is small, we will not get this exact normal distribution, but we will get some distribution with low P. The P is less than the Z distribution, but with some heavy tails. So the tails are higher. This is the T distribution. In simple, this is the T distribution. Now think about the 95% of the individuals. Unlike in Z distribution, number of individuals in T distribution at the center are less than the Z distribution. But still, T distribution is a normal distribution where most of the individuals are at the center. But it is less than the Z distribution. So, individuals towards tail are slightly higher than the Z distribution. So, how do you plot 95%? When you are plotting 95% at the center, we know that 2.5% is here and 2.5% is here in the Z distribution. And in T distribution, we can understand that 5%, if you get this specific line, the individuals in this part, the tails of the T distribution will be higher than 5%. So, in T distribution, 95% margin will be slightly outer than the Z distribution. It will be somewhere above 1.96, somewhere here, 2.5% of the T distribution will be in this range, which is higher than 1.96, and for this side, it will be slightly less than minus 1.96, so 2.5% of the T distribution will be in this range. Please understand the difference. Now, we have several problems. I told you T is for lower sample size. If the sample size is 1, we will get not the distribution like this, something like this. When you increase the sample size, you will get slightly higher values slightly closer value to the Z distribution. So you can keep on increasing the sample size so the T distribution will be gradually closer to the Z distribution. When your N equals infinity, when your N goes to infinity, the T distribution equals the Z distribution or simply the T values will be same as the Z values, but we need to have the sample size of infinity. Let's compare the two distributions. What is the difference between Z and T? As I told you earlier, this is for high sample sizes and this is for low sample sizes. Also, Z distribution has small tails compared to T distribution where T distribution has heavy tails. So it will be something like this in Z distribution but it will be something like this in T distribution. Because of that the 95% the cutoff will be at 1.96 in Z distribution but in T distribution we don't have a fixed value. 
So at infinity, we will have 1.96, but it depends on the sample size. So we don't call this as sample size, we call that this cutoff level or this T value, the 95% depends on something called degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom. How to get the degrees of freedom? That is another lecture. We will discuss that in individual lectures. So generally, this 95% values will be more than 1.96 at 95%. This is because of the heavy tails. But important thing is, nowadays we have softwares, we have improved technology. Because of that, we don't use those tables. Because of that, I told you, when we have the higher sample sizes, we don't go with t tables, we use z tables. But in this example, you can understand that when the sample size is close to infinity, we have the z distribution. So there are some degree of error of using z tests even for higher sample sizes. To minimize that, nowadays we have softwares, so we use t test to compare any type of means. So keep in mind, in almost all the research studies to compare means, nowadays we don't use Z test but we use T test. In the next lecture, we will discuss something about the T tables. Even though we don't use tables right now, tables are really important to understand the concept. Thank you very much.